as you can see I've added quite a bit more detail to my um, pattern uh, and now I'm ready to start tracing it so you get a piece of plain white sketch pad paper and you're going to very carefully trace around what we'll call it the template um, I'm going to go pretty fast so this video stream doesn't take so long but you're definitely going to want to go very slowly Oop, and don't let it do that hold on to it so it doesn't move um, you can very lightly put a piece of tape on the back and that'll keep it from moving so much like mine just did um, another thing to keep in mind is when you have pieces like this that are really thin um, they're going to tend to move and that's going to mess up your tessellation so definitely hold those smaller pieces down and don't let them sometimes your pencil will make them move and you don't want that to happen so you're going to trace all the way around until you get back to where you started. You'll notice that on the edge of my paper over here, I've actually run off of the edge, but that's okay. I'm just going to skip that part, go back to where I get back on the paper. Sometimes you might want to start in the middle of the page so that doesn't happen to you right off the bat. And you'll see here that because I've been going so quickly, I've actually, this has shifted, and I'm not exactly ending up right where I started, and that's going to cause me a really big issue when I get done. So please be very careful and don't let this move, otherwise it's not going to work properly. After you've done that and you have it traced properly, you can then slide your tessellation um, down or slide the tile down and you'll see that it matches right up in that empty space and then you're going to trace again anything that was not already um, outlined from the previous shape and you can slide it to the side and it's going to fit right in there like that again and it will just continue to fill your entire page and then you're ready to start coloring it in adding some color and adding in those details that you had sketched out on your template and add some color and detail and you're done make sure you give your um, tessellation a name because it is a piece of artwork